That's um, Phil Sanchez. I think Phil Sanchez just posted a flashback Friday of oh him. Oh my God! Doing his modeling for French Connection back in the day. Were you ever a model? I mean, I'm sure with that face, you were probably a model. Yeah, right. <laughs> a, a, a model for plastic surgery? No, I no, I I couldn't be a model. Oh, I'm so <laughs> giddy to have you on. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, June 18th, and the man, the myth, the legend. Is that what I, that's what they tell me. That's what they told me to yeah, say. Yeah, it, it's in the, in the prompter there. <laughs> I'll read anything that's on the prompter, right? Yeah, that's what I'll do, Dave yeah. Ferris is in with us today. Uh, that reminds me, i got to show you a little something Randy did the other way, the other day. He read something that was in the prompter. It was like a banner, and he was not supposed to read it. <laughs> it was fantastic. That, in fairness, that's not his normal thing, right? No, it's not his normal Weather's thing. Weather's all ad lib. But you know what I'm going to do sometime. I'm going to type something in there. Yes. And he'll, I know he'll read it. I told him he should end up with, I'm Randy Allis. <laughs> I'm just going with it from there. Oh, you guys know this is going to be a fun show, so you have to stick around because coming up today on Indy Style, you have never really had sushi. He said he's had rice. That is not the same. It's not the same. Not I, the same. I, I'm afraid of sushi. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why, but you know, I'm, I don't want to die. Scared. Oh. And, and you get nervous about, you know, raw fish. Don't be nervous. And you get nervous about, don't you have to cut it just the right way so you well, don't get the poison in I there? I tell you what, it yeah. is International Sushi Day. We have owner and master chef Debbie Bennett. Debbie, you are here from Yokohama and Greenwood. Dave is going to try sushi for the first time, but you're going to ease his fears, aren't you? Yes. Yes. yes you are going. She's going to give us like a sushi 101. What are we making today, Debbie? We can make a, well, a sushi for like a special Order for Sunday. Sushi yes, Sunday. Oh, a sushi nice. Sunday. Yes. A Sunday with sushi. Ice cream in that. Look like ice cream. Oh, oh. oh maybe with ice cream. Okay, so she has it all set up and ready to go. We're going to try some of that coming up here in just a little bit. Um, do you watch videos on YouTube much? I do not. Is, what is uh, YouTube is the one? Which one is the YouTube again? <laughs> You have my heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's that one, you know, where you can watch like music videos or nowadays it's like kids playing with toys. I, I imagine you sit and watch those, don't you? No. No, I... he doesn't. Well, you're going to want to after this because they host the most popular kids channel, Dave, on YouTube. You need to introduce this yeah. to your grandkids because we're going to meet Vlad and Nikki and learn about the media empire they are building with their mom. Who knew that videos like this on YouTube yeah. would be so popular. I think you and Randy maybe should start like a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, but you guys. We can't do that with our hair, though. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah, Phil Sanchez Randy can do that. Uh, no, Phil, Phil can no. do that. Yes, he can. Yeah. Maybe if you just don't cut it for a while, would it grow out like that? No, because it's twelve hairs, and they, are, you know, <laughs> so if you put it up, you can count the hairs as yeah. they were standing up. Yeah. It's gonna have to get you a lot of gel, a lot of hairspray. <laughs> Randy just gave up and putting it up. He He's just done. Does it He's forward. done. He just does it forward and then just that? a little poofy, and yeah. that's it. That's all uh, you need. I, I used well, to have. I used to have hair. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. Back in the day. Back in the yeah, day. Back in the day. Yeah. Hey, also coming up, it is the story of a man coaching football at an orphanage. Listen to this. One of the new films will preview with the film yaps. Christopher Lloyd. That's an amazing story. Um, I have not seen Christopher in years, literally. Yeah. And last time I saw him, he had a normal haircut. His hair's long but, now. But but I think it's different today, yeah. isn't it? But you could grow yours out. I, I actually, I did. I did. Right after did? I retired. Oh, you I did? Grew you it did out. have longer hair. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, it was awful. Uh, it didn't he... look. And I'm not saying Christopher's is awful. No. But it might be. But I, we'll find <laughs> out. I, we're going to find out. Oh, okay. Well, we got to move on to today's yes. question of the day. Yep. It's brought to you, Dave, by Kitchen Saver Custom Cabinet Renewal. I want you to take a look at this picture. Okay. The question is, a right. list of five things. I mean, nobody pretty much has these in their home anymore. The what? list includes DVDs, CDs, file cabinet, and a wall calendar, along with takeout menus. Have all those. You do? Yes. Because the question is, do you have any of these? I do. I Every have them single all. one? Every single one of them. Yeah. And have, I, why do you have I have takeout, some. Uh, I, have I had uh, other stuff too. You have takeout menus. Yes. Okay. I like those. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, like we, that's our them. typewriter. Oh, um, you and still have I, an old school I typewriter. I thought it was a computer when I bought it, but, it, but it's not. <laughs> And so uh, it, it moves slowly, but so do I. So it works out great. Yeah, it's all one and the same. There's the alarm clock. Some people like to use their phones, but I'm afraid the phone won't work. Oh, so you don't set the phone at all? Well, I, I do as a backup. Okay, but that's a backup the primary. With the backup. Big Ben, yeah. And there what's, is... What's this? This is an old relic too? You? Yeah. <laughs> it is the relic of relics that is always in our house. Me. Of course. And, and you see what it says on my robe? 
Does it say legend? Yes, it does. <laughs> do you wear that <laughs> everywhere you go? Yes. I do. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Well, of course, we appreciate you sending your pics in, Dave. And we want you guys to send your pictures in as well. Indie Style Picks at WishTV.com is where you can do that. We've been asking viewers, Dave, to show us their spring pictures and the fun things they have been experiencing so far. Right? Yes. The things that they have been doing. So we have one for you. Yes. This picture is from Susan Cardwell. Okay, oh. so she says, come and enjoy yourself at the I-69 Speedway yes. and take a ride in the double seater around the track and watch the races Friday nights. That could be fun. Oh, you're not kidding. Oh. oh that would be a blast. You'd look yeah. good in one of those. I, I would. Yeah, you I would. I think you're absolutely right. But I, in fairness, I would look good in anything. You would, but the red yeah. would really compliment your skin tone, I think. <laughs> I think you're right. Thanks. Hey. <laughs> well, we want to see what you guys have been up to this spring. So, of course, submit your pictures uh, to this post on our Facebook page. It's right at the top of your screen. Or you can email it to IndieStylePics at WishTV.com. Okay, Dave, we want to move right along because we want to announce the winner of our latest contest because we were giving away those John Grisham books. It was a complete set. So a big congratulations to Mary Casey. Nice. She Mary. won four books, including his latest novel, Suli, which I believe was a sports book as well. I like combining those two things, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, a little yes. bit of both, right? So she won those four books. And stay tuned to Indie Style for more contests. There she is right there. She came in this morning oh, and picked nice. up her prize. So a big congratulations to her. <laughs> All right, Dave, how active are you on Instagram? Uh, I'm not on Instagram. <laughs> uh, I, no. I kind of knew that might be the case, so we're going to do it for you because this okay. is part of our Instagram Flashback Friday. It's a look at our Instagram page because we do a lot on Facebook, as you know. Yeah. But we're also on Instagram, too, and we post all kinds of pretty pictures and some of the fun moments and things like that from the entire show throughout the week. So today's flashback is to me and Firefighter Tim Yeah. trying watermelon and mustard, which, which you and I are going to do now. today. At it's the a, end. It's a, do, you yeah. do, do you do TikTok? I do not. <laughs> I, I don't. I, well, I, I, I don't either. But hey, we're going to have you and me try the mustard on their watermelon today at the end of the show. Because I know you said you're a big fan of mustard. I do. I and like I mustard. wonder if that makes a difference. So we're going to have that coming up here in just a little while. Yes. So there you go. It's, yeah. it's kind of it's, down it's, there. It's down there. It's, I, it's ready. Yeah. I hope it doesn't get and like, it's waiting. too warm or anything. We're going to put it in the fridge, it's right? Still, it's still pretty cold. Yeah. So we should be yes. good. Um, should we go yes. try the sushi? Uh, yes. Are you ready? I, I'm nervous, All but right. I, I think I could do it. Well, let's stand up yes. and you follow me because okay. I believe Debbie is ready and waiting on us from Yokohama in Greenwood. Debbie, I yes. am so glad to have you in studio.